Hello kids. Welcome back to Dot June channel today we are going to explore and understand the camouflage of some animals around us. When you take your students to a park nature reserve or your school grounds in the hopes of observing animals in the wild. You definitely have to be patient. Animals and insects often blend in with their surroundings so they don't attract too much attention which can make it difficult to find them. Both predators and prey animals use camouflage to their advantage. Predators blend in with the background so their prey won't see them approaching until it's too late. Prey animals need to blend in as well. So hungry predators pass right by them. There are many different ways animals and insects can blend in with their surroundings. We're going to explore five of them. Color matching. Disruptive coloration. Self-decoration. Active camouflage. And mimesis. First is color matching. Color matching is one of the most basic ways animals camouflage themselves. They're able to blend in simply by matching the color of their surroundings. Check out these examples to see how well this works. The brown colors of this deer helps it blend in with the landscape in autumn. This butterfly matches the orange flowers it gathers nectar from. The colors of this red squirrel match the colors of the fallen leaves on the ground. This rabbit's coloring blends in with the dry landscape. Can you spot the two kangaroos near the center of the photo? They blend in perfectly with the landscape in New South Wales, Australia. It can be easy to miss the grasshopper in this photo since it's the same color as the blades of grass nearby. This prairie dog blends in so well with the color of its burrow it would be easy to miss seeing it. Second is disruptive coloration. Many animals and insects use more than one color to help them blend in with their surroundings. Spots stripes and asymmetrical shapes on their bodies can help break up the outline of the animal here are a few examples this toad has greens and browns helping it blend in with the muddy mossy environment it lives in the spots on this leopard help it disguise the outline of its body especially when it's sitting in the shadows the orange color of a tiger's fur helps it blend in with the vegetation of its natural habitat and the stripes make it even harder to spot in them. Shadows The coloring and pattern of the Sykes's nightjar make it difficult for predators to see it while it's in the nest. The scorpion fish is a sit and wait predator using its camouflage to blend in with its surroundings so unsuspecting prey swim right in front of it. The coloring and pattern of this iguana helps it blend in with the vegetation it lives in. The female greater sagegrouse prefers to nest among tall sagebrush and its coloring helps it blend in with its habitat. The pattern on this sea turtle helps it blend in with the pattern of the sunlight reflecting on the ocean floor. Third is self-decoration. Sometimes animals and insects use what's available in the environment around them to blend in. For example, they may let moss grow on their shell or attach seashells to their body to conceal themselves. Here are some examples. Algae can grow on turtles' shells especially when it lives in shallow waters, helping it bend in with its environment. Sea urchins sometimes gather shells, rock and other objects to help it bend in with the ocean floor. Decorated crabs conceal themselves by covering their bodies in animals or plants to ward off predators. Masked hunter bugs camouflage themselves by covering their bodies with grains of sand. The algae growing on this crab helps it blend in with its environment in shallow waters. Fourth is active camouflage. Some animals have the ability to change their colors and patterns to help them blend in with their surroundings. Animals such as octopuses and flounder fish can quickly change their appearance. Other animals change colors with the season. This seasonal variation helps them blend in with the environment at different times throughout the year. Here are some examples of active camouflage. 
Certain types of octopus can change the color and pattern of their skin by controlling the size of their cells. Chameleons change the colors and patterns on their body to help regulate their body temperature and to send signals to other chameleons. But the colors and patterns can also help them blend in with their surroundings. The Arctic hare grows different colored fur depending on the season. In the summer, its fur is brown or gray. In the winter, the Arctic hare's fur is white to help it blend in with the snow. The Arctic fox is another animal that grows different colored fur depending on the time of year to help it blend in with its surroundings. Peacock flounders can change their color and pattern in just 8 seconds. Finally is mimesis. Mimesis is when an object appears to be something that it's not. Prey animals and insects sometimes mimic leaves, twigs, and other objects that predators wouldn't be interested in. Here are some examples. This leaf-tailed gecko not only matches the color of the branch it's perched on, but its tail looks like a leaf to further blend in with its surroundings. The oak leaf butterfly closely resembles a dead leaf to disguise itself from hungry birds. The katydid is another type of insect that closely resembles a leaf. These caterpillars look like they're part of this evergreen tree. The cloudless sulfur might be difficult to spot in the fall since it mimics the color and pattern of yellow leaves. Stick insects or walking sticks are the world's longest insects and they stay still when a predator approaches to blend in with the branches. I hope this simple explanation clears the doubts in your mind about camouflage. I would love to hear from you, what other animals have you seen use camouflage to blend in with their environment? Please comment them down below. Thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed our channel yet, please do subscribe for more videos. Thank you and God bless us all.